Hi, welcome back to day 23. I am Jennifer Davis and I am a senior cloud advocate at Microsoft. Today, I will be sharing with you a little bit about security. In this chapter, I will be talking about developing with a security mindset. Let's get started. Code needs to be tested. Examples of tests could include checking to see whether passwords are embedded in code. There are a variety of free and open source tools available to do this kind of testing against code. Recently, we released the Microsoft Security Risk Detection that uses fuzz testing to find security critical bugs in software. You should also incorporate static code analysis as part of your continuous integration process so that problematic code is discovered early on in implementation. Linters are just one testing tool that allows us to do static analysis to discover problems with patterns or style in our code. Often, people think of linting as just stylistic in nature for the look and feel of code. A consistent style is important. It increases the readability of our code, which can help us understand the code more quickly, allowing us to identify problems and understand what we're trying to do with that code more quickly. Debugging is hard. Often, it happens much later than when we implemented the code. Decreasing our variability in the code that we write helps us to come to that set of common standards and practices within our team. It helps to improve the cohesiveness of the code and reduces the time to bike shed. Linting also can help us discover problems with our code early, including logic errors that could lead to security vulnerabilities. Linting can often be added as a plugin to many editors so that you can get near instantaneous feedback about problematic code as it's written. This allows you to fix potential issues as they arise instead of after a pull request. Sometimes people complain that linting is wasteful because it reports too many errors. Most linters can be configured to ignore specific rules that a team or project doesn't want to adopt. This helps you to encode and enforce code guidelines within your project that can be caught early while reducing the friction of excessive alerting. A really good example of a bug that escaped into the wild that could have been caught by linting is this iOS SSL TLS bug. See those two go-to fail lines in a row? With the second go-to, signature verification will never fail. It's possible to send a correct certificate chain to the client but sign the handshake with the wrong private key or not sign it at all. There's no proof that the server possesses the private key matching the public key in a certificate. So lint your code. To ease the amount of information coming out of these static code analysis tools, adopt a set of coding guidelines so that you can have consistent readable code to minimize conflicts in understanding implementation. Pairing and reviewing code, whether it's application code or infrastructure code, allows us to build up context across the team about our whole environment. When there are areas of code that are getting updated that may have a security impact, think of the CIA or DIE models, a security review should be included. Being explicit about the process through tagging issues with a security flag, for example, helps us surface those issues so that they're easier to discover. The last thing that I want to talk about in this video is building out your pipelines. Whether you use Azure Pipelines, GitHub Actions, or some other tool, you need to use the same mentality and perspective as you do when you're building out your code with a security perspective. Test everything, review your changes, and make sure that security changes are visible and tagged so that you know that when you make changes, and why you made them, that you can go back to them if some issue comes up. Separate out your private configuration information from your code, as well as from your build pipelines. With something like Azure Key Vault, Key Vault will help you control your secrets, those keys, certificates, or passwords, by keeping them in a single central location and provide secure access, permissions, control, and access logging capabilities, as well as being able to rotate them in one location. If you have any questions or feedback, please do share it with me on Twitter at SIGJE. Thanks so much.